video will show you how to use the equation editor. The equation editor is a software which is very important for you, especially for you to post up questions or to answer any question posted in the online forum. Now before we start using the equation editor, let me show you the features of the equation editor. First, when we open up the equation editor, we will see the features of the equation editor right in the desktop. Let me start off with the first one. So, this part when you click, you will find all the different types of vectors. The next one is about fraction and also root. The third one is the power. We we'll use this part if we want to show power. And the next one is the sigma, which we will use for statistics purposes. The fifth one is for calculus. And next we have uh, symbols about bar. And then the last one is the matrix. Okay, now let me show you how to use the equation editor. For example, if we are given this type of question, we are asked to simplify a fraction which uh, is 1 over 64 to the power of negative 3 over 4. Alright, if we write the answer, the solution for this question is uh, if you need to one. But to type this in on the Microsoft Word, you need special mathematical keyword, and this is where the equation editor comes to handy. Now before we can uh, use this equation editor, let's open up the Microsoft Word first. Microsoft Word and then followed by equation editor. Okay, so to type a fraction, click the second item here. Alright, then choose a fraction. And then the next key 1 over 64. Okay, followed by power of negative 3 over 4. So having negative, followed by fraction, and then key 3 over then turn it into power. In order to convert this to power, go to the next portion here and click power. Okay? So once we have got the uh, symbols ready, highlight the whole thing, copy it by pressing Ctrl C and then paste it in the Microsoft Word by pressing Ctrl V. Okay? So you have the match symbol there. Now, in order to make this uh, answer a more presentable, so what we need to do is to type in, for example, let's say this is question 1. Alright, so I will enlarge it, okay? Okay, so we have question 1, then press enter, okay, next, followed by tab key, and then type in the equation symbol. Okay, go back to your equation editor. Don't erase the symbol which you have typed in. Now remember, based on the formula, if the power is a negative, you can convert it, convert it to positive by inverting this uh, fraction. So the answer here will be 64 to the power of 3 over 4. So type in 64, followed by fraction 3 over 4. Okay, then highlight 3 over 4, choose power, the first component. So we have now 64 to the power 304, highlight 64 to the power 304, press Ctrl C, copy, and then go back to your Microsoft Word, paste it there by pressing Ctrl C. Okay? Now next, press Enter twice, and then the press the tab key followed by the equation sign. Okay? Open up your equation enter again. If you know 64 to the power of 3 over 4, if the power is a fraction, then the denominator of the fraction will become the root and the power will be the power. So what we need to do now is to select bracket, and then choose root 64, uh, root 4 of 64. So click the second component here, and then choose the symbol root. Yeah? 
typing 54 in the empty box and then followed by the root, root of 4 in the empty box. Okay, target 4, so we have root 4 of 64 and then outside the bracket is the power of 3, so target 3, highlight 3, choose the third component here and choose power. So you have root 4, 64 to the power 3, highlight again, and then press Ctrl C to copy, go to Microsoft Word, and then press Ctrl V to paste. Okay? Then try to enter twice, followed by tab D, followed by the equation sign. Okay, now let's solve this problem. Go back to the equation editor, equal to, so the root of 64, alright, is actually 2. Alright, so 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 will be 64. Then outside the bracket is the power of 3. Same thing, highlight the power of 3, choose power, then change. So you have 2 to the power of 3. So highlight the whole thing, press Ctrl C, and then paste it in the microsoft. And finally, the answer will be 2 to the power of 3 equals to 8. So just type it. Okay. So that will give you the answer of, uh, for question 1. Okay? So with that, I hope you have learned how to use the equation that you can use to cut mathematical keywords in volume fraction. Practice, you will be able to master uh, this kind of mathematical symbols.